yet another Monday morning. Start of another week. It's been a bit more of a kind of normal week, but the kids are still on holidays. <laughs> but Kevin's home and goes back to work today. Um, so I've just been making his lunch. Before I get the dishwasher, I forgot to put it on last night, so I put it on this morning. So I ha can't pack his lunch though, because his lunch box is nowhere to be seen. So it's obviously still in his car. So he hasn't actually got a sandwich or anything today, I'm going fresh bread. He's got some overnight oats, some grapes, um, two cookies, some coconut thing, I can't remember what it's called. Some mango almond yogurt for him to try, and some nectarine and a banana. And he can just buy his main lunch from somewhere. I think I've showered, made myself look a little bit more presentable, I hope. <laughs> Who knows? I'm not going out today, so I just pulled my hair it's wet. I'll just pull it back because otherwise it's too long. I'll let it so I'll sit like this for most of the day and then I'll pull it out and let it finish drying off later on. Weekend, had a really nice weekend. Um, fairly quiet, but on Saturday we did all go to see the musical Singing in the Rain at the local theatre in town. It was so good, we really, really enjoyed that. Um, it's fun. I do love the movie, the original movie, but yeah, the musical was so fun. We really enjoyed that. And it, like, it was a in between an amateur and professional performance. Um, but they did amazing. It's amazing, and it's like less than half the price of a perfect, like a when I have Broadway here in Australia, but like a Broadway quality production. But it was very good. Everyone enjoyed that. And. Yeah, that was it yesterday. Kevin did some jobs for me, including finally got over here sorted out. Doesn't that look so much better? Hope you remember what it looked like. Obviously, I had sort of dust in there and clean it, but he took out all the things that weren't connected to everything, and you can see there isn't much left. Got rid of a whole host of um, game consoles and whatnot that were there, but I said I've got to clean because you can see the. <laughs> It's been years since that's been cleaned, and we've still got um, DVDs. Like all our kids' Disney DVD, all the Disney DVDs are in those drawers. But I think Kevin said we'll just get rid of them, and then if we want the movies, he'll just buy them. We've already bought a whole heap anyway, so we'll buy them to watch on, you know, at the Apple Movies or whatever it is. So I'll go through with the kids and make sure that they're happy with that. And cause we haven't even got a DVD player in here, though. I think Kevin said you could watch them on the Xbox. I think. But anyway, and he also put a picture up there for me, so I probably need to find like a, a decoration item now or a photo or something to put there. So there's something on the table, but I don't really want much, as you know, I'm enjoying that. I also, we also got the safe taken out there, so the board games, we've moved a little bit. Um, I may end up swapping those two boxes around just because that one looks a lot more cluttered and full than that one. But we'll see, that's okay for now. And um, I've still got to take everything out and clean the shelves. But again, another day. There were always jobs for other days, but it was good to get that decluttered and tidied up. Other than that, I don't know what I did. Um, Most more my photo book, did some videos, did some more jigsaw. I am so struggling with the one with the little pieces. Oh, and our new jigsaws came, but I'll show them to you later on. And yeah, I think that's pretty much you up to date. If I think of anything else, I can let you know. But um, that was it. Oh, we played some games on. Oh, what's our new console that we've got? Mm, Athena? Yeah. What's that new game console that we played yesterday? Switch. Switch. We played, I felt like all the four, well, Christy wasn't there, but the three of us played a game on the Switch yesterday, <coughs> which was quite fun, though I had no idea what I was doing. So not surprisingly, I came last, <laughs> but it was still kind of fun. But yeah, I'm a bit clueless and I haven't really used many games for this. I've won one or two of the mini games. I told you, all right in some, but yeah, failed miserably otherwise. I'm just gonna have some overnight oats for breakfast. So yeah, I did make up some almond milk and some oats yesterday. And today is more food prep. Um, I think my cheer cookies made. And look at the week ahead, Christy's gonna drop off a whole lot of donations at the front um so she's going to drop them off today for me and then hopefully pick up a few groceries so i'll go through and see what we're needing because i've not been very organized meal wise so even though i did a grocery shop the other day i didn't actually look at the meal plan for the week so 
I said we need, it'll only be like fruit and vegetables, or vegetables really, we've got plenty of fruit now, but any vegetables that we need to make what's on the plan for this week, which was the one we did up earlier, but obviously I need to modify it a bit because we're going away this weekend. It's a long weekend in Australia for Australia Day. Kevin and I are going away in the motorhome. So we kept what we're gonna, I've started, we what we're gonna take with us and cook. Just easy, simple things. It's supposed to be pretty warm, so I'm thinking we wanted some salads and some cool food, maybe a barbecue. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm up to this morning. And yeah, this afternoon, probably work on my photo book some more. Made my jigsaw. I really just want to pull it quits with this little one. It's so hard, but I'm getting there. But I'm just finding it really. I don't know, I'm sure I didn't used to be so bad at little piece of jigsaw puzzles, but I guess I'm a lot older since the last time I did one. And if I can do them, it's great. We've got so many of that size. But I did order two more large size pieces. But anyway, I'll show you them later on. And I think. Oh, one more update. What I think of it. Come back to make a tea. I finally tried out these two teas that Kevin got. Well, we got another one. So we had the jasmine come in and there's some he bought home the other day. I tried them both over the weekend. That one is okay. Um, I could drink it from time to time. Wouldn't be my first choice, but um, it was quite nice. This one I really, really liked. And you know how I've been after a black tea that I like, loose leaf. It's not quite as good as the morning tea that I love but it's pretty close so that's been the first loose leaf black tea that I've actually enjoyed in a long time so um, <laughs> Kevin scored so actually I might make one of them now to have with my breakfast I'm pretty sure now you're all caught up on the weekend doings around here and we had a swim sometime as well but yeah it was a nice weekend I have got my plan that I did up so working with these recipes and just working out like exactly for this week because obviously we're going to be away so I'll use that as a starting point though I'm trying out most of those recipes but yeah I've got my my book where I write up my actual actual plan for this week so I'll do that write down what I need to um, prep today so I'm going to do that now
on, but it is still very sticky and humid. I don't know how that works, but even Christy was complaining it was that she was hot and uncomfortable too. So I sit, but as soon as you start moving around, it gets you. Anyway, I have made, as you saw, and I'm glad I'm doing this before I clean the kitchen tomorrow. <laughs> it's good to have my food prep day the day before. So I think Athena must make up a double batch normally, because whenever I've seen them make it, I'm pretty sure the pot's been really full. So obviously that would fit in there and it would be full up to the brim. But anyway, that's fine because I wanted to make two so we can have one for dinner I don't know, tomorrow night or the next night. I'm not sure which night it was scheduled for. And one I'm going to cool and pop in the freezer because that'll be really handy. And I want to try and start doing a bit more of that stuff, like freezing some meals. Because that would be very handy. So the chip cookies are ready, but I usually put them on the stove top there. But I just left them in the oven with the door open a bit. The black beans are out and rinsed and homemade ones are so much better. It was a shame I only had one batch of the red kidney beans, that were the homemade ones. I had to use 10, so I should need to write down dry red kidney beans and get some more, cook some more up. Because they're so much better. And it's so easy with the pressure cooker. And that TVP, I don't think I've got really any use, I don't know how much to do. <laughs> Obviously I did way too much. But that'll be a good supplement to the dog's dinners. So I'll um, add that to their meals for this week because that will be good protein for them. And the black beans are just to pop in the freezer because I had some. That was one tip I got. That was one tip that I, well I got a lot of chips. And actually this is the recipe for when I went to Adam Guthrie's plant-based festival. Cook, no, cooking plant-based weekend which we went to about two years ago year and a half ago anyway up in Queen yeah year and a half ago before we we're actually vegan and um, we've got this recipe from him the chili con carne but it's like vegetarian veg I think it calls it chili con veg vegetable or something because she does a Spanish version but yes yeah, just a vegetarian or vegan chili con carne and he suggested whenever you buy dried beans don't just put them in the pantry, but actually cook them up and then freeze them in lots. Like I do one and a half cup lots. So one and a half cups is a tin, three cups is two tins. And a lot of the recipes have two tins. So I usually do up, I try and do a bit of both, but yeah, um, we have a lot of two tinned recipes. Anyway, I'm going to have a little rest and I'll come back. I've got to wash up and um, not a lot of washing up. There's a lot of bigger things to wash up, but I'm going to, I'm just waiting for these to boil, the chilies to boil. So I can turn the temperature down and finish letting them cook. But I am going to sit down and have a rest so I don't overdo things. But I think I've done pretty good. What else have I got to do? Oh, I've only got to wait, make well, tonight's dinner. And the pasta sauce I can't actually make because I'm out of something. I don't have something for that. I don't have much. I've got mushrooms, but they look a bit past their best. And considering this, this dinner's not too... Well, it's tomorrow not having that. But they're still out of date anyway. So I'll get Christy to pick up some mushrooms when she goes down the shops and then I can make that up if I don't make it today I can just make it tomorrow it's not a big deal I was just trying to get everything done so that's one thing I do not have to worry about the rest of the week I will have to do some more food prep for the weekend away um, Thursday Friday but at least all our dinners for home will be done and I think that make a big difference and then, then make a big mess of the kitchen now <laughs> get it all done then when I clean tomorrow it should stay fairly clean because dinners will be pretty much done and in the um, fridge and I just want to help us to eat a bit better too and I think this will help so I moved in front of my little fan because I am so warm anyway um we'll put some spoiled so I'll get some water and go and sit down and cool down a bit and then come back for round number two I can't believe how long it takes me to recover from doing these activities. But anyway, <laughs> I feel like I'm recovered. Um, those meals are done now. So I'm going to find a container for one of them. I don't know which one yet. Probably that one. We'll free yeah, I will, because I've already frozen those beans. I'm not sure how they'll refreeze. So we'll freeze this one. I'll try and find a container. Freeze my beans in bags. And wash up and then I'll see about cooking tonight's dinner perhaps or organizing my lunch one or the other we'll see and I've also got the um, cookies to do with
I take this to get donated. <laughs> oh, that looks better, doesn't it? All gone. <laughs> Oh, it's taking forever. We're really getting a good progress with the house now, I feel. So anyway, that's done. And oh, I was going to show you Coda. He had a clip on Friday. Hey, down. Got to train not to jump up. Come here, mate. Look. <laughs> he looks a little bit different. <laughs> He's had like a rather short clip so he can go, Coda, come here. Coda. Coda. Where are you? <laughs> there you are, you came the other way. So he's got a beautiful, he's got a beautiful little face. <laughs> and he's got his tail. And the rest of him is pretty short. Oh, hello, Rose. Okay, yeah, you're always beautiful, darling. You don't have to get a clip because your fur just falls out and left my carpet. So it looks a bit, oh my gosh, he's going to knock me over. To us, it looks a bit strange. <laughs> so he's not his usual fluffy coder that he usually is but we're getting used to him and it will grow and it'll be really good for his swimming at least it's got his face <laughs> it's got his face at least he's got his face his normal face normal head and his normal tail <laughs> it's a good boy you don't need the clip either Bailey do you oh it's so hot oh, the kitchens not too bad considering it's meal prep day i've got all that washing up done i'm going to have my salad now and i just sent a list to christy of the few things i need for her to get so that i can make the other meal later on but yeah feeling accomplished okay christy just got back with the groceries so i'm going to make this vegetarian pasta sauce i don't know if i'm going to make the one for tonight because i think fee might not be coming home for dinner and i've got a question mark as to whether kevin likes it so I think I'll leave it. I can still make it later on once I find out what Thee's doing. And if Thee's not coming home for dinner, I'll just um, probably do one of the Guardian meals for Kevin and myself. And um, maybe I can think of some meals, but yeah, I don't think I'll make it when it's really, I'm gonna like it and maybe Kevin. Or um, yeah, so I don't think I'll do that. I am getting pretty tired too. <laughs> That's horrible, I'm tired. I don't, oh, I just can't do much anyway. I'm gonna make this vegetarian pasta sauce. Um, I wonder if I should make two. I don't know if I've got enough pumpkin though. I'll just make one. There are probably some leftovers, and we're having this tomorrow, so any leftovers I can freeze easy enough. Ah, uh -uh, get down, good boy. He's still much better at getting down. I've just got to to spot him. But um, I have been thinking about going out by the pool, but. As you can probably tell, it's not looking very sunny out there now. It was earlier, but now not so much, so probably won't worry. Hmm. It's still very warm though, it's 27 degrees. Which is it's quite hot out there. I'm just gonna let it simmer for a little bit and finish cooking everything up. Well, that's the puzzle I'm currently working on. And I've got skies and trees and a building to do, so <laughs> yeah, let me see a snow white there. But it's a lot more challenging. <laughs> but if I can do these, are we good? Because there's like four in that one, and I've got another one with no gonna two. Or at least another one with four. I can't remember now how many I've got. Anyway, this is what I ordered the other day. So this will have small pieces as well. And I mean, it's 12 plus. <laughs> should be able to do these. That's a 750 Thomas Kincaid one. And then I've got two large ones. So I've got that one. And I quite like that because it's recycled board and soy-based inks. So that's good. 
nice and that was I mean it's very Thomas Kincaid style even though it's not his it's Nicky Boheem but it's got the large pieces All right, that one's a large piece one so it's a Ravens Borough one Ravensburger Borough I don't know how you pronounce it but um they're really good quality puzzles like the ones that we've got these um Thomas Kincaid ones the brand of them is really good and the Ravensburger ones these are ones I always used to get I mean, it's not my favourite picture in the world, but I've got it because it's got big pieces. And then I've got another two of these four ones. There must be so many. And these new, or well, that one's got the poster. And so is, yeah, I don't know, I don't know if that one's got a poster or not. These already started doing. Which one? Did I buy three packets of the? I don't know which one these doing. Oh, man, I bought three boxes of those then. I don't even know what to buy. Yeah, okay, so I bought another three of these ones, and two of them have got posters, which is better size, so. But look how gorgeous they are. They're just so beautiful. I'm hoping I can do these size. Maybe even a struggle now. I mean, I've done it, but it's been a struggle. But I'll keep pers persisting at it. Especially why I can't get the, <laughs> the bigger size ones that I like. Because I am really, really enjoying doing puzzles. Anyway, they will do all these anyway, so I didn't. And they were good value, like to get the four puzzles. I think they're having like thirty dollars, or you got one for twenty dollars, something like that. So to get the four is a very good value. And I had some more three hundred piece ones, but they were out of stock. So yeah, when we've done these ones, <laughs> I'll check back later on and maybe get some more. It's better than having to bring them back from the States. I'm probably a little bit more expensive, but I don't think, these I don't think were any more expensive. So, and I hadn't seen that 750 one before, so. Um, yeah, let's hope I can do the smaller ones, and if not, I think I've got two big ones to do. So, Moose just heading off, going on out with some Grand friends. Talia. Yeah, Corinna Tower, yeah. For dinner. Well, that, this is your first, like, dinner out with friends, isn't it? Mm. That's for Corinne's birthday. She's turning 18 today. It's too grown up. Being an adult, <laughs> it's weird. You're too grown up too. <laughs> Are you picking up Talia on the way? Or? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to Corinne's house for a little bit before dinner as well. That sounds very nice. You um, look lovely. Is that, a, is that a dress? I can't remember what that is. Yes, dress? A dress. I get that one. Yep. Very nice. It's pretty. I'm wearing the earrings and I got me like the, 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 the leafy ones. What are they called? Clovers. Are they? Yeah. Okay. The three you clovers? Yeah. We'll have a nice time. And I finished. I feel very proud of myself now. <laughs> so I can do a bit of a bit. It certainly took me a lot, lot longer. But yeah, I can obviously do those puzzles. I didn't get a headache. The first I did, I've got a headache. So maybe just hmm, whatever. I did it. <laughs> so now I have a lot of puzzles to do. <laughs> that size. Well, everyone's home. We'll have a Christy because she has a dinner. Kevin's home and Fina's home. I've given the dogs their dinner. And I just made a easy dinner for us. Just a potato. So you're home. <laughs> Mix the beans on potato and a corn cob.